So as you may or may not know, uh, several weeks ago, I posted a YouTube video called A Blatant Cry for Help, in which I asked people what they wanted me to make my next YouTube video about. And I have chosen one of those ideas. I'm not going to say which one it is. And that video is in progress. But for right now, I want to answer a question that someone asked me just a couple of days ago. And it occurs to me that a lot of people might have this question, and so I'm going to answer it. And that question is, as you saw in the title of the video, why do turntables have ground wires? And of course, the, the corollary to that question is, why don't other things like your CD player or your tape deck or your uh, FM tuner not have ground wires? Well, the answer to both those questions is this. All of the inputs on your stereo, other than your phono preamp, are line level inputs. And a line level input is one that has a sensitivity of around 250 millivolts or about a quarter of a volt. That means that you can feed about a quarter of a volt of audio into it and that will be enough that you'll be able to drive your amplifier into clipping full volume before you reach full volume on the volume control. The phono input, on the other hand, is much more sensitive and this is because phono cartridges don't put out a lot of voltage. Your phono input normally will only need about two and a half millivolts to drive the amplifier wide open instead of 250 millivolts. It's a hundred times more sensitive, which is a 40 decibel difference. That's a big difference. 40 decibels is a lot of difference. What's more, RIAA equalization inside your phono preamp, which is necessary for playing back records, boosts the bass considerably as well as cutting the treble to compensate for the exact same bass cut and treble boost that's applied when the record is being made. Now we're not going to get into why that is here, but suffice it to say it makes the phono input really, really sensitive to hum and buzz and noise. So let's go back for a minute and talk about those line level inputs. Because they're not terribly sensitive, it's perfectly fine to allow the RCA cables to carry both the ground and the signal from the signal source, say the tape deck or CD player, to the input on your receiver. That works just fine. However, because of the great sensitivity involved in a phono input, we have to do something different. We have to do what's called pseudo-balanced signal grounding. Now, as the name implies, pseudo-balanced means it imitates a balanced signal, but it isn't really. And the difference between a balanced audio cable and an unbalanced audio cable is that a balanced audio cable has a ground that is separate from the audio carrying conductors. In other words, you have a hot audio conductor, so to speak, and a cold audio conductor so that the audio has a circuit to flow through, and neither of these is connected to ground. Then you have a separate ground which provides uh, noise protection and shielding for the audio cable. In the case of a turntable, the inputs are still unbalanced, which means that one side of the audio is grounded. However, in pseudo-unbalanced, which is what you use in a turntable, it's only grounded at one end. It's grounded at the phono preamp. It's not grounded at the turntable. And the ground wire that runs from the turntable to the preamp provides a connection between the turntable chassis and the tone arm and the input of the amplifier so that there is a ground that does not carry audio. Balanced audio inputs, whether they're real or pseudo, provide better noise isolation than unbalanced inputs, and only having the ground at the phono preamp prevents ground loops, say between the two channels, which can pick up hum even when you're trying very hard to avoid it. Now, there are other subjects that I could discuss in this video, but I'm going to leave them alone for right now. Things like how the grounding is handled at the phono cartridge. But instead of that, I'm going to cover something that's probably a little more important and which somebody out there, I'm sure, is raising their hand going, but wait, 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 what about this? And that is, why is it that some turntables don't use a ground wire? That's true. Some turntables simply don't have a ground wire. And that's because they have been wired internally to send the ground down the audio cable like everything else does. It's a compromise, and you usually see it in DJ turntables where they're not looking for super high fidelity or super low noise. They're looking for something that they can hook up and disconnect quickly at the beginning and end of a gig. This is not something that should be done with a high fidelity turntable because it will increase the hum pickup and the noise pickup. It's going to cause problems 
And uh, it's if you get a turntable like this, it can be retrofitted to have a ground wire the way it's supposed to. Uh, if you have one and you want that done, I'll be glad to do that for you. If you like this video, be sure and hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe and check out my website, redbankvintageaudio.com. Tell your friends and neighbors and send me some business because let's face it, the fat man got to eat. Y'all have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.